We have more details on that update that just came in to us on our website, kitv.com. But now to Brooks County ISD, where district officials are reporting a spike in COVID-19 cases this week, with their junior high going from single digits to nearly 30 cases as of today. Brandon Schaff spoke with school officials today to see what may be causing this spike. Brandon? Yeah, that's right, Leslie. Brooks County ISD confirmed to me today that there are currently 49 total cases across the district, with most among their junior and high school students. And while they are not sure what the main cause of the spike may be, they're doing everything that they can to isolate those students, test weekly, and sanitize everything accordingly. We've been very fortunate that we were at zero uh, cases for weeks. It may be one started with one here, one there, but it's never been more than three. Brooks County ISD is seeing a spike in COVID-19 cases as school winds down for the summer. Superintendent Dr. Maria Rodriguez Casas says that the 28 confirmed cases at their junior high school are not from what some say they are. I know these rumors have been rampant since last week. The 30 number we had heard and also when we came back from the Florida trip, they were also saying those those numbers. 67 students went on the Florida school trip, but all were in high school. She says none tested positive when they got back. They're working with local experts to make sure the confirmed junior high cases do not expand to their other schools. As Brooks County deals with the positive trend in cases, they say underreporting might be an issue. Now that we have all these uh, at-home test kits, you know, most people don't report those back the way they should, which is okay. So we don't really know exactly what's going on in the community, but with the school district numbers, we can really kind of hone in a little bit more on what's going on. Nueces County is dealing with a positive trend in COVID cases as well. Dr. Kim Anufrek says they encourage everyone who does an at-home test to report the results so they can receive remote treatment if needed. You can order it. You don't have to go to the store and get it anymore. You know, and now that um, the availability of drive through PCR tests isn't uh, accessible, more and more people are turning to the at-home tests. And from Brooks to Nueces County, experts say it's important to watch these spikes as summer break approaches and all the traveling that comes with it. It's not just concentrated, it's still everywhere. And so unfortunately, the numbers there are increasing, our numbers here are increasing. And Dr. Anufrak also says that students should be careful as summer break approaches as Nueces County reaches a daily average of more than 30 positive COVID-19 cases. She encourages everyone to get vaccinated as always and to be aware of negative test requirements before any traveling occurs. Health experts also say that they're keeping an eye on all of these spikes to make sure that everyone stays safe as we head into Memorial Day weekend. Leslie. All right, Brandon, thank you.